My name is Dada Prana Krishnananda. Most people know me as Dada at the park. I am a monk, a meditating monk of an organization called Ananda Marga of the Indian yoga tradition. I was born in Chicago, lived overseas for 41 years, and now I'm living in New York City. brought me to the park is that I see that society is suffering from a disease. I think that the accumulation of wealth is a disease of our society that needs to be cured and Wall Street is the focus of that disease. Greed and selfishness is destroying the fabric of our society and the relationships between people. Last Saturday I was participating in the, the, the march and we were going toward the Brooklyn Bridge. When we got to the Brooklyn Bridge, the police seemed to be our, our marshals to see where we march and how we, which part of the street or the road we were supposed to stay on. So they were uh, actually taking a position in the front of the march and leading us, as they have done in the past, over the bridge. I thought for a long time that I was on a, on a sidewalk, which has been the tradition of the marches so far, but after some time I realized that I was walking on the, on the street with where the cars are traveling. Uh, but that's where the march was going and the police were leading, so I, I felt that we were doing the right thing. At a certain point, uh, we came to the center of the bridge, and at the center of the bridge, the parade stopped, and then I turned around, and I saw that actually I was the last person. I thought there was a whole crowd of people behind me, but actually I was the last person in the group. And what I saw was there were a number of police from one side of the road to the other, on a, a, a straight line, uh, white-shirted police and blue-shirted police and behind them were vehicles that were uh, facing the wrong direction. Uh, they were not facing Brooklyn, but facing Manhattan. So the back end of the vehicles was just behind the police. And I, um, I knew, I just felt, this, this, what's gonna happen now is they're gonna arrest people. I had to think, now, how am I going to respond to this? This is the circumstance which I'm in, and what, how am I capable, what's the way that I, as a monk, meditating monk, will respond to this? So I decided the best way would be for me to sit down and meditate. After a short time, the police uh, came up to me and they told me that uh, I was blocking the traffic and that I was under arrest and I should get up but my intention was to continue to do meditation. So I continued to meditate and they tried to lift me up and when they tried to lift me up to get me to stand up I became a sack of potatoes, a dead, like a dead body, and I put the responsibility of putting me in the, in the wagon on them. So I just continued my meditation as best I could under the circumstances. I'm concerned that the police are taking this personally and that there's a kind of shift that they're trying to create away from the Wall Street, which is really the problem, the greed and selfishness, to a conflict between 
protesters and police, and I think that that would be unfortunate. The police are part of the people who are in difficulty. And the police haven't had a contract for two years. They're also affected, but somehow they're going along, hoping that things will be better. So I think whatever happens, the people who are really concerned about this, the people who are sensitive to this, need to keep pushing in whatever way. Whatever needs to be done needs to continue for as long as it takes to change this system.